toothpaste, toilet paper, like stuff like that. What is up guys, Addies here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over a few kind of ideas for you guys to kind of just like pay attention to and look forward to just going into these next few months, especially with April, May, June, July coming up with, you know, is, is summer and basically kind of walk you guys through like what, you know, a good trend or a good industry, a good niche could look like for you guys kind of like hopping into drop shipping or e-commerce and just making money online in general, right? So there's a few key things that, that you guys want to look into. I'm going to jump right into it and hop into screen share in a moment for you guys. But basically, guys, there's there's what I like to call two main ways to, to basically choose a product that you want to sell, right? So there's essentials and there's trends, okay? Essential products are basically what everyone as a human like needs to buy, okay? Like I like toothpaste, toilet paper, like stuff like that, right? Th those would be like essentials, okay? Obviously, there's a lot more around that, but that's just an example. So there's essentials and then there's trends, okay? So trends are just things that, you know, blow up in interest very, very quickly and die very, very quickly, okay? And with trends, right, especially if you're drop shipping, the beauty of it is trends work in your favor, right? Especially with drop shipping on Shopify, you can get a site up in less than a day, you can have products live on your site, you can begin making money, you know, within 24 hours of starting, once you have, you know, the, the whole skill set, I guess, like, nailed down, right? So, those of you guys watching this video, you're probably, you know, wondering, okay, what's a good niche, what's a good product, what's a good, you know, interest for me to kind of look into or get into right now um, that, you know, could yield some really good results, right? Um, so, there's a few things that you want to do. I'm going to hop into a screen share right now to kind of walk you guys through some stuff and um, let's just get started. All right, guys, so I'm tiny now. You see my uh, browser and basically, uh, what you want to do is you want to go on Google Trends for this first bit, all right? So there's a few other things we're going to use, but basically Google Trends is kind of how you dictate what users are, are searching for, right? Because, you know, Google is the most popular web browser, popular search engine, all that kind of stuff. Basically, people are going to search for stuff and then you're able to kind of see what they're searching for, right? So again, um, the most popular thing, right, coming into this, most of you guys realize is summer, right? So again, looking for trends. Um, there's summer products you guys can sell. There's summer, you know, anything that you guys can drop ship and sell online. But what I want to explain to you guys, right, is that the people that make a lot of money, right, you can you can go straight for the for the for the main idea, right, or like the the obvious uh, product or whatnot to sell, right. So again, summer's coming up. What would be the main thing, right? I'm gonna let you guys. I'm sure you guys kind of already have an idea, but there's a few things you want to do. So bathing suits, right, are always a popular thing every single summer, right? Um, it's trending. Everyone wants a bathing suit. Every girl wants to, you know, 20 bathing suits. Um, there's, there's, it's, it's always trending, right? So as, as we look here on Google Trends, um, we go to the past, the past five years, right? So you can actually see the, the rise and the dip, right? So there's a few pointers that you guys want to look out for. So one, you want to see that it is like a recurring trend so that you can, you know, plan for it. Uh, but you also want to see that it's a growing market, okay? So as you, as, as you can see, like even here, the score is 59. And then just last year, the score, you know, it, it, it's like 77, right? So, uh, either way, even just by visualizing it from the chart, you guys can see that every year it also increases while also, you know, um, becoming a trend again, right? So that's what you want to look for is, is an increasing market, which means that, hey, the market's growing that allows for more people, like more sellers to enter that market and sell more stuff to more people, okay? So that's one thing. But what I want to stress you guys, right, is that yes, bathing suits are a very, very popular item. You can make a lot of money, but the people that think, you know, outside of the box and go like really, really creative, that's um that's where you can make you know even more money without necessarily like having to like be the best quote unquote because again with bathing suits there are a lot of competitors and again that's that's a good and bad thing but um if you think outside the box guys you can make a lot more money for example for example right this is one thing that i thought of right before the video um someone's gonna do this and make a lot of money this this, this summer but for example it's hot in the summer guys um you know say say you're doing some outdoor stuff what 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 do you guys use? What do you guys use? Again, like there's a few things that might come to mind, right? But um, are there things that are just really really annoying and that solve a problem that you want to use, right? Uh, I don't know. I might be really bad at like leading you guys into this, but um, mosquito repellent, guys. So again, like there's sunscreen, there's all that kind of stuff. But like me personally, I played soccer all my life. Every single summer when I'd be like training on the fields with my team, there'd be mosquitoes, and I hated it. Okay, and so every single summer, every single summer, like I would literally buy mosquito repellent, I'd have it in my bag all the time, and spray it before and after my soccer stuff everything like that, right? So again, it's all about being creative. So yes, summer is, you know, kind of like the seasonal trend that comes in, like people need to buy things for summer. Okay, so a lot of things rise and fall um, with that. And that being said, you know, bathing suits, stuff like that, like those are the obvious easy things to get into that you can make a lot of money from. But then there's these really small things that are like kind of off on the side that, you know, most people don't really think about or just like you don't, they don't sit down for 20 minutes and just try and be creative and think outside the box, right? If you can do that, then you can make a lot of money. So for example, right, we'll type in mosquito, hopefully I spelled that right, uh, repellent, okay? So 
But as we can see, right, it's clear, it's not as big of a trend as bathing suits, right? But it's also not gonna have as many competitors, okay? Or not nearly as many competitors, okay? So then, as you can see with this, right, it, it's it's a, a recurring trend, all right, that, that is, you know, continually shows, you know, in user interest, right? People need it every summer because mosquitoes generally, right? Actually, let me, um, actually, <laughs> just to prove this to you guys, when do, oh, there we go. When do mosquitoes come out? When are they most active, okay? so. When the temperature rises over 50 degrees um, in Fahrenheit, more mosquitoes come out, okay? That means they're laying more eggs, there's more hatching, there's more, uh, you know, giving birth, there's, there's more mosquitoes, okay? So people need more repellent. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, if we go to AliExpress, okay? And actually want to find some mosquito repellent, we'll literally just search for mosquito repellent. See, like, I, I did a little digging right before this for you guys to kind of validate everything. But again, there's a lot of stuff here that you guys can kind of use. All right, there's armbands, there's, that looks, that looks really deadly, but um, there's there's you know things that you plug in around your house. There's little keychains. There's wristbands that you guys can wear. Um, stuff like that you guys can sell that are really really cheap. And guys, you could even go high ticket with certain of these products. Like this thing right here, this light trap lamp zapper thing. Like okay, it's thirty dollars. You could you know you could start selling high ticket stuff like a hundred dollars or something with that with that kind of price tag, right? Versus you know selling these mosquito like wristbands for like ten dollars a pop. Like there's different avenues you guys can take, guys, and different marketing angles you guys can take. Which is what I want to stress to you guys, like with these coming months and whatnot, like think outside the box. That's probably the best way I can explain to it. My boy Sebastian, you know, literally just made an amazing video on bathing suits and that kind of summer trend, which you, and you guys can go check out. But um, other than that, guys, it's just a matter of like being creative. Like, yes, summer, like think about it as summer is the trend, okay? And bathing suits and all these kind of stuff, they become interesting because, you know, summer is there, okay? So when summer, when certain things arise or come, then you gotta like kind of think like okay, what do people do? What do people use? What do people want to buy when you know when summer comes around or when winter comes around? Like there's a lot of things that you guys can you guys can use. Like even for winter, guys, you can sell gloves in winters. Like I did that once. Okay, so like it's all these kind of like small things that you you not necessarily like everyone will think about. Um, but it's not like mainstream stuff. Like you can do bathing suits, you can do all that kind of stuff. But then you know there's also that other angle. Where, like hey, you can find stuff that not as many people are in. It's easier to actually you know do some more marketing because you're not competing with more competitors and trying to outbid all of them with pay ads and all that kind of stuff. So it, it's a, it's a good give and take, guys, on just what you're trying to really do. So basically, guys, with that being said, I think right personally going into you know April or well, this is already April, but you know um, April May you're like going into these summer months, guys. Um, the, the the niche you guys should focus on, not even the niche though, but just the the interest should be summer, okay? And then going from there, it's okay. What do people use? What do people need? What sucks about summer that you can sell something that fixes it? Okay, there's a bunch of stuff that you guys can kind of be creative with and think outside the box to kind of capitalize on, okay? So even like this, like, I'm sure like you know plastic or not plastic, but you know those just just water bottles or something like that in general, like you could sell easily a bunch of this stuff that just people need right it's summer people are out more often um it's hotter people need to drink water that's an essential right so like you can sell water bottles it's, it's anything like that guys literally just be creative think outside the box guys and that's that i want to see your guys' kind of opinions on what you think may be a good i mean obviously if you don't need to tell tell your product but that's the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like i love you guys for your support drop a comment i respond to everybody's comments and don't forget to subscribe we are doing a video a day i will see you guys in the next one don't forget to um subscribe for the zero to 1k wait list that's completely free guys when it launches which i'm super excited about me and sebastian are just gonna do some crazy things with that um that's there the course is closing really really soon so if you are interested or have been waiting on that now's the time and then um that's basically it guys i will see you guys in the next video if you guys have video video suggestions anything like that drop a comment i respond to all of them and i will see you guys in the next one take care there's my mic and peace and last but not least don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates giveaways and literally everything that's cool